Hey guys, finishing up the week strong in Power Minutes. I'm Lena, so good to have you back. And uh, uh, you know what the Power Minutes are. I don't even need to remind you anymore. And if you're new, welcome. So go to livingwithpower.org. You'll get so many more details about our ministry. Uh, we're about God and his word and uh, loving one another and growing in kindness and, uh, and in all things biblical and Christ honoring. Today's Power Minute is called Make Friends. Our verses Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Friendships take work. The older I get, the more I recognize it. It takes work to develop real friendships. It takes a willingness to be open and authentic. It can sometimes even be a bit risky. Most of us yearn for deep friendships and that yearning increases with time. God created us for relationship after all. That relationship need is first met with God. He offered us friendship with himself through Jesus Christ. He's also offered us fellowship with the spirit. And even more practically, he's given us a family, a community of people meant to encourage us and journey heavenward with us. The community is called the church. But it takes work to build lasting friendships. It takes stepping out of our comfort zones and reaching out to others with our needs. It takes being sometimes vulnerable and sometimes available for others when they're in need. Are you willing to risk your comfort for real relationships? Ask God to lead you as you look for godly friends. Ask him to give you wisdom in choosing right friends and get involved in your local church, the best place to find the kind of community you were created for. Think about this today. What is your relationship with the local church like? What risks are you willing to take in order to deepen your friendship with other Christians? Now, admittedly, we are living in an era where the church is not thought of as a place of many friends. In fact, many people are leaving the church and that's uh, um, understandable in some instances, but also it's become an epidemic in our in our country. And so um, would you give God and his people another chance? Uh, I urge you to do that. I wrote a book about that called Fractured Faith and I, I, I did. I gave the church another chance and by God's grace, I have a wonderful local community. If you're looking for a church in Chicago, I, I would invite you to come to our community. By the way, I've got the Terminex lady that keeps popping up at my window. So I was like, who's at my door? I was looking over here. Now she's on this side. But anyway, she's keeping making sure that there's no mice and crickets into my house. Um, anyway, I'm inviting you to my church, 180 Chicago. If you live in the Chicago area, if you're visiting, I'd love to see you there. But if you're in a place where you're um, not so trusting of the local church, I just want to urge you to ask God to lead you in that, but also that you would understand that you're not meant to live alone. These verses in Ecclesiastes are not about marriage. They're about friendship. And so uh, those friendships are uh, offered to you, again, through God and his son and the spirit, but also through other believers. So I hope you consider me your friend. You might not have ever met me, but I pray for you and I think about you and I pray for you right now. So uh, if you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, the comment section would be great. Uh, whether you're on YouTube or Instagram, share us something about your life. What do you do for a living? Uh, what are your uh, prayer requests right now? Or uh, if you want to be more personal, send me a direct message. Maybe you want to tell me uh, some desires of your heart that you're waiting on God for. It helps to talk it out with a friend. And so I know many of you have read my books. You know that I've shared just about um, most of the personal things in my life. So I feel like you know me better than I know you at this point. But anyway, love you guys. Have a great weekend and we'll be back together on Monday.